Good morning, Barbara and Leanne. Okay, I'm here at 617 Brush Creek in Bryson City. So here's the driveway. It does kind of snake down from the top, but it is gated. I mean, at best, you probably have to park your RV up here on this switchback uh, or get somebody in here to clear some more space for it. But yeah, it would have to be parked up there and then you drive down here and that's where I'm parked. There's my wife, Jill. Uh, but it's got total privacy. Total privacy. And the drive-in is really nice, but it's long. And you're about 20 minutes off the main road. But you're totally surrounded by trees. Which, if you cleared these out, you can get a mountain view. I don't know if you can see it back there, but there is a mountain back there. And then here's the house. Done a really nice job with it. Nice wood. New deck. I feel like you're in a tree house, kind of. See, there's the mountain right there, and you own all these trees. So you'd be able, and there's another mountain back there to cut open a mountain view. And it looks like they've done some clearing here. I don't know if you can hear it, but the, there's, the, there's the creek. Can you hear it? You can definitely hear it from here. All right, and here's the exterior. They've done a very nice job. Everything's good and clean. Looks like some touch-up paint needs to be done there. Looks like they're still finishing up a little bit of work here, but, but yeah, and it's a rainy day today. There's another mountain view. And there's another one. So you can get you a mountain view from here. You can actually see the ripples in the creek down there if you see it. Right there. Alright. Let's go inside inside and check out the house. So I open this door just to see if you can hear the creek and you can. It's nice and breezy up here. It's getting really sunny out. All right, so you're coming in, and you have all of this. Done a beautiful job with it. Okay. Some floors. They're still working on a few things here. You got all these windows. It's all surrounded by trees. And then again, if you're standing right here, you can hear the river. And there's your mountain behind those trees. All right, when we walk over here, here's the kitchen. And that would be your dining area over there on the other side of that island. And this would be your pantry. Then you have the stairs up to the loft, which we'll hit in a second. All right. There's your thermostat. And then this door here is for the washer and dryer, which would need to be stackable. And then you have this door, which goes down to basement which we'll check out in a second. And over beside that is storage. Great space for storing things. And if you keep walking, your next left is the bathroom. Well one of two. Okay. Your toilet. Okay. Okay, and then a bedroom. As you're looking out, greenery. Looks like they got a little fire pit down there. Okay, got a closet. 
Ayan. Get in the bathroom. And for those of you who are requiring, the vents are on the floor. Now let's go down to the basement and see what's going on. Alright, so really... This is where the brand new HVAC is located. Nice vapor barrier. They got foam insulation under the floor, which is great. It means the house is going to stay pretty tight. All right. And really, this down here is just for storage, it cannot be finished. There's your hot water heater, electric panel. Again, they're still working on it, but be great storage. Another vapor barrier, and then you have a door from the outside that leads in. Here's all your duct work, foam insulation, which is great. They're doing all the right things. And then the brand new HVAC and all your duct work. Okay, let's go upstairs. Now we're going to go upstairs, see what we got going on. Look at how beautiful the greenery is today. Hear the river? Sounds nice. Okay. Stairs, floors, tongue and groove all over. Got a landing. Now we're up here at the loft. You have a mini split. Some windows. And here's the bathroom. Beautiful little tub. This is where you put your shower curtain. Here's the closet. And this is what you're seeing when you're up here looking out. And you can still hear the creek. Okay. I'm going to pause this and start it again as we're leaving. Um, it is a one-lane paved road coming up, which is great. A couple areas are, they slope a bit, but nothing you don't experience when you're here in the mountains uh, camping anyway. But overall, it's a gated community. Uh, nice drive-in, very scenic, a little bit of windy roads, but you're used to that when you come here. Uh, but I definitely think it's a contender, kind of checks all your boxes. The only concern I have is the drive, but I think that can be remedied to find a way to make that work. I mean, you may even have to pull into the kind of the switchback area and then back down and park where I parked my truck with your camper. So I think anything could be done, but um, by far, I think this one checks all the boxes. All right. And here's the stairs coming off the driveway onto the deck to get into the, to the house. And then you have stairs that kind of go down to the electric box, electric panel, that's interesting. 
There's something else I noticed too. There's an electric outlet up there. I wonder if you could activate that for your RV. That would be cool. And then here is the exterior of the home. Got a metal roof. It's in really great shape. Okay. There's your heat pump and your mini split. Still hear the creak here. And that's where I was telling you you'd probably have to pull forward and then back down with your camper. Because you do have this big embankment here, which I was hoping would be a circular drive, but it was not. <laughs> All right. All right, ladies. So this is where that landing is. We just backed up and now we're getting ready to go up the drive. To the gate. And then you can see the mountain view back there where the cabin is. It's very private, as you can see. And then when you get back out to the community main road, you can see that it is paved. So this is the road coming into the community. It is paved. Here's a sample of your road coming in that you'll be driving off the main highway. It's actually quite nice. But you're on this road for about 20 minutes from the main vein. That's why I said it's kind of remote. But beautiful drive, very scenic. I mean, yeah, that's like one of the properties I was talking about. But Got a little camper and some prayer flags. It seemed very cool. <laughs> All right. Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you later. Bye.